Oh, yes, yes. And then the shutter button is that one there. And zoom? Zoom is, the T will zoom in, the W will zoom out. Brilliant. This year we've been developing a project, working with different groups, which traditionally we, you know, might not visit Western Burt, and that, you know, for a whole range of different reasons. That one's come out, huh? <laughs> I like the way all the trees, different heights and branches, some real old trees here and all the bark markings, the thickness of the trunks, some tall thin trees and all the heights, different leaves, you can see them blowing peacefully and blissfully in the wind. It makes me feel at ease, relaxed, looking up at the height of the trees, some even well over 40 feet high, must be. They're just extremely amazing. Our whole mission at Western Burt is really to connect people with trees. We find that certain audiences are missing and so we felt it was important to try and engage those communities in a realistic way. We've also been working with Bristol Drugs Project, which works with people who are at various stages of drug and alcohol addiction. So they've been looking at the woodland management um, side, how, you know, the things that they cut down in woodland management, how can you use the product? So we're looking at um, sort of sustainability of wood products with them in that way today. But then we also have a creative yeah, element as well. I'm starting to make a shape. That's what I want to do, try and get the shape so I can see what's going on there. I can, I can see a spoon. <laughs> I think when you're involved in problematic drug use, your focus is very narrow. And I think coming here and to activities like this, they immediately broaden your horizons and you see beyond yourself and you see a whole world that... It's a world that ordinary people occupy. <laughs> it's beating me, yeah? What's going on? I've done lots of wood before, but I've never done this, so... Quite interesting. Yes. might come here knowing that they should be having a drink and they're starting to feel ill or something and, yeah, and they say no I'm all right I'm all right you know and they just keep doing the activity it distracts them they get through the day and that gives them confidence for the other days the last time I done weaving like that was when I was at school I remember I was so proud I made this big basket this big red, red basket that went out like a bowl of fruit I was so proud of it we were a bit sort of worried about what we were letting ourselves in for because, I mean, I'm old enough to not to have been in the drugs era, era if you like. <laughs> um, we wondered what we were going to happen, and uh, then they sort of given us warnings of what happens if various people disappear around corners. They were giving us the absolute worst possible scenario, if you like. They arrived, they came the following month, and they were a grand lot of people. Surly, we thoroughly enjoy being with them. And the great thing is, is you can talk about them. We talk about the problems and they were happy to talk with us. And to somebody like me who knew nothing about drugs other than what we read in the papers, it was an absolute eye opener. And, uh, you know, we, well, we've tried to come ever since. It's getting there. It's got a little yeah. shape there, and it's got a little shape. WBA. We've also been working with Hours of Tail, which is a ladies group from Bristol. I love this space. Help your body and your mind. And you just relax all the way through. Or enjoy your day, your day gone, and you don't know where the day is disappeared. This group's called Avaz Utau, meaning raising voices. It's an empowerment project for, for women where we ask the women if you want something, raise your voice. Deals with disadvantaged Asian women, women who are disadvantaged financially, mentally physically and are victims of abuse. So we're going to go to a few different trees that have got something quite different about them 
and make up a little tale, a little story about why the tree became that way. And with them we're exploring the global tree collection at Western Burt and thinking about um, what global trees can provide us. So it reminds you of Christmas yeah. and Rapunzel um, and of, did you say a perm? It's like a nest as well, isn't it? It's a nest. Yes. Okay. So we've got that it reminds us of Christmas, Rapunzel, perms, nests and tangles. <laughs> that it would feel proud because it's so tall, it has two different types of leaves, so two faces. Mm -hmm. One day it looked like this and then something happened and it became... Dropped its leaves with it or lost its shine. It was really good to see them coming up with more creative ideas and even though we didn't create a complete story with the group on the walk, um, the way that they were looking at the trees and seeing characteristics and feelings and, and imagining what could be happening um, to make the trees be that way um, is really good because they were less confident about that before and now they're, they're able to share the, those sorts of um, words, language and ideas with us. The most important aspect really was the quiz to do with fabrics because um, with this group we, um, the environmental message that we're working on is to look at the biodiversity of trees from around the world and why they're important and the need for conservation. I read it on the motorway, Western Bird, but I never knew where is it, you know, and what is it. You know, I, I think it's some kind of uh, birds or something. You know, I never thought it's, it's, it's a big park or it's, you know, a lot of uh, walking place in here. <laughs> She cooks the food and we all share the food. What's important, it's not just a question of eating together, it's the question that we are Indians, Bangladeshis, Pakistanis, from everywhere. Nowhere in Bristol will a Muslim eat food cooked by a Sikh or an Indian or a Sikh eating eat food cooked by Muslims. Avasa Tau, this project is the only project where she's a Sikh lady, supported by Rashida, supported by a Muslim lady. People used to throw the food if it was not cooked by someone of their religion. Look around today, we are all sharing the food and no one said who cooked it. This is our victory. <laughs> You don't know about sure, right? Never badger hole. Can I have the pen to tick it? Do you be Yeah, that's more like a badger. That's more like a badger hole, that one. That's massive. I don't know, that's a rock. What size is that? Yeah, that's a fox hole. That's a big guy, that's massive, isn't it? Is it? I like what You can do, but do you want to fill the tree first? Fill it shape and fill it fill all the different texture of it? What does it feel like? Don't. What does it feel like? Does it feel soft or hard? Uh, hard? I've turned out that it's a lot better than, you know, the f things that they would have done. They really like it. I mean, when I look at them, I've seen them playing and what they've been doing today. And, you know, they can't, they can't get enough of it. And they love this place. And they've never been here before and it's nice to see them happy. I think traditionally sometimes botanic gardens, because that's what an arboretum is really, a botanic garden, can be quite stuffy places. People often think of them as being about the plants primarily and, and the people who come and see them are, are, are secondary. And I've always personally felt very strongly that actually there's not much point in having an arboretum unless you also have the people and you can only connect people with trees if you have both elements. <laughs> they love the environment, the trees, the space. You know, remembering we're coming from a, in a city where space is a bit of a premium. It's the funnest trip I have ever been on because all the 
school trips are a bit boring. You don't get to spread out and do activities. Like them building that lot and finding matching colours, um, collecting bits of leaves, picking stuff up, looking closely to it. The, the biggest, the biggest hurdle in that, in that sense, sometimes, is that people who've been coming for decades and just don't want things to change don't actually uh, appreciate just how much better things can be. Sometimes they do look like worms, don't they? And I think it's very important that uh, you know, we, we, we're very serious about making sure we are um, a place for everyone. Thank <laughs> you.